it's been a long time coming. After hundreds of requests, it's finally happening. This really isn't that big of a deal, but I'm acting extra dramatic and putting off revealing what's already in this video title. I'll stop wasting time now. We're gonna start on the dragonfly lure today. I've got this sketch uh, roughly how I want it. I still have to go back over with a pen and some ink and really define the lines. This is gonna be the front wing, that's gonna be the back wing. I'm gonna put them in at an angle and hope that that kinda of like catches water and uh, forces the bait on top of the water. I don't want this to sink, this is gonna to be top water. But yeah, I'm just gonna to get to work on this. We'll see how it turns out. So I decided to go with balsa for this one. Not because it's the easiest to work with, but because I need it to float. And it's such a small amount of wood in the body of this bait that I need to make this wood the most buoyant I can. So I went with balsa. There is the side angle of the dragonfly. I even cut the two notches in the back there that the wings are going to slide into. So there's backup if I mess up, but this is what I'll be using now. Now I'm just taking these wings and I'm uh, doing a mirror image and then I'm going to flip it back on itself and that way both of these wings are exactly the same and then I'm going to print it out and use that as my stencil. So this is a very thin piece of Lexan polycarbonate, which is a super durable material, and it's what I intend to make the wings out of. I plan on doing something pretty cool. Well, I'm going to try to do something pretty cool with these wings, though, once I get them cut out. So that's going to be the general shape and look of the dragonfly. But now that I got the wings cut out, I'm going to start working on the body. So first of all, I need to cut a line in the belly that'll accept the through wire. I think next I'm actually going to put the wire in and glue that all up. I feel like I could just split this thing right in half while I'm working on it. If I don't, this balsa wood's so soft. I do need to thicken up this slot though so that the wire will fit in. This is 0 .032 inch diameter, just stainless steel wire. I think I got it on eBay. Just trying to get it as straight as possible. It's not easy with little wire work like this. Sometimes it can be an ugly process. Okay, that's one side. Whew. 
If balsa was a harder wood, you could bet your butt I wouldn't be doing this. I would just be putting screw eyes in it. At least now I can say it's through wire though. It's never straight. Okay, it fits. So before I glue this wire in, I think I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of lead right here, just to make certain that this will sit upright. I'm pretty confident that this is enough wood to where it will still float with a little bit of lead right here. Just a little bit. I'm gonna go do that. It's a quarter inch bit. Yeah, it's not gonna go very deep at all, but uh, this might seem really early for putting lead in the bait because it's not even shaped out or anything, but it might not even need any lead anyway, but I'm just doing this to make certain that it sits upright in the water when it's floating. I gotta plug my drill press in. There, I'm gonna fill that with lead. Well, actually I'm gonna put the wire in and then I'm gonna fill that with lead and then I'm gonna cover the lead hole and this entire slot with epoxy and smooth it off and then I'm gonna carve on it. So this is just some five minute epoxy mixed with some uh, glass microsphere filler and I'm gonna cover the lead hole and the, the wire slot with this. I'm gonna go cut that out on the bandsaw now. So I just gotta clean this up and then I'm gonna put the chamfers on every sharp edge here and round everything off. So I'm just going to go over this whole bait now with this tiny file and make sure every curve and every angle and just everything is the correct shape it needs to be. There we go. I got it all smoothed out. Uh, I think it's ready now to start putting some more detail into it. Carving the lines, carving some eyes, making it look more like a dragonfly. So I'm just scoring lines in this Lexan to kind of act as the, the little spines that you see in the dragonfly wings. That's where I'm at with them right now. It's working out pretty good. Ooh. My fingers are numb. I'm kind of surprised about how good this looks though. I thought it would have been more difficult to get something that looks like dragonfly wings, but that's going to work really good.
that's all the lines that I'm going to be carving into the body as details. I'm kind of skipping back and forward from the wings to the body. I don't know why. I guess that's just how I work. Man, you gotta be so careful when you're car carving on balsa. I feel like I could mess this up at any second. We're getting there though. I got the tail section and just the top here all carved out. I still gotta do these little lines on the side and the head. So, I think I got this dragonfly pretty much to my liking. I'm gonna seal the wood now and hang it up, let it dry, and while it's drying, uh, I'm gonna get back to work on the wings. I was having a little bit of trouble with them. There's just a few things about them I'm a little unsure about, but we'll get them done. So for these wings, I'm gonna try a few different things and try not to screw them up along the way. If I have to make another pair of wings, uh, fine, I'll do it. But I'm gonna do some things I've never done before and hope it works out. I've got some just standard black airbrush paint and I'm thinking I'm gonna kind of rub it into these cracks or these lines that I scored on the wings to make them stand out more and then wipe the excess off, see how it works. finger painting. I think it kind of worked. There's a lot of cleaning up left to do, but it made the, the lines darker. That's the whole wing. That worked good. I went back over it with a little bit of paint thinner, just your standard paint thinner, to wipe off all the excess black, but that looks really good. It's kind of surprising. On dragonfly wings, uh, sort of towards the tips and on the top, they have um, just kind of dark spots it seems like a segment you see how these lines make little segments this one usually is black so I need to figure out a good way to make that little segment black it's the same on these wings but sometimes they can be a little lower I think I'm gonna make these two these two segments right here on each side black so I still need to figure out a good way to do that and I want to do that without uh, just painting it because I have a feeling if I did just paint it and I tried to clear coat these wings, that clear coat would be really quick to peel off of this Lexan. So I'm trying to think of ways to kind of adhere a color to it. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover these segments in a good amount of CA glue and sprinkle some black glitter on it. I think that'll work fine. We'll see. It worked out fine. Kind of the indication of a darker spot towards the tip. And it's sparkly. Kind of cool. I'll do that for all the spots. Make for some interesting little details, if nothing else. So I changed my mind. I think I am going to put some paint on these wings. But I'm going to have to do that when I know what colors I'm going to paint this bait. So I'm just going to paint the wings and the body all at once. Yesterday I posted where I'm at so far on my Patreon page and asked the patrons uh, what colors they think I should paint this dragonfly. Seems the most requested colors were purple, blue, and green. So I think that sounds good too. I'm gonna get a good picture of a dragonfly that is purple, blue, and green. There are just so many colors that dragonflies can be. The blues are generally pretty light. That's a good one. I don't want too much purple though. I don't know. 
There's just so many colors. It's looking like I'm gonna just have to come up with my own pattern. I just gave the body of the dragonfly a coat of polyurethane. I think while that's drying, I'm gonna be able to put the paint that I want on the wings. Cause I pretty much decided on what the color is gonna be. It's gonna look a lot like that, I think. Maybe a bit more purple in it. Or sorry, maybe a bit more green in it, but I really like that. And for the wings, I'm gonna do that. Um, you can kind of see some coppery, gold, yellow colors in there. It goes from black really close to the body and it kind of fades out to yellow. I'm gonna do that on the wings right now. So that's the black. Now I'm just gonna do a little bit of gold over the black and then right on the outside, I'm gonna do a little bit of yellow. Just a little bit of yellow fading. I think that'll look good. That was a base coat of white. So I think the main color on this dragonfly is gonna be blue. From there, I'm gonna come back in and add some purple and green highlights. But right now, I'm gonna go from the top is gonna to be the darkest blue and it's gonna get lighter to the bottom. This is called iridescent electric blue. Hopefully we can get some uh, color shifts, like color changes as you turn the bait. At least that's what these iridescent paints are supposed to do. I do not know how my camera is still working after that. There. That's very blue. That's just the base color though. Now I'm going to use some pearlized white and I'm just going to go into this thin part on the tail and lighten all that up and leave the back here dark. Now for the green, I think I'm just gonna stick to the lower part of the abdomen. Maybe make it come back here a little bit and maybe in the head a little bit. All the green is just gonna go on the bottom and then the purple I'm gonna do towards the top and the tip of the tail here. I thinned out this purple, this iridescent purple a lot, and I'm kind of applying it sparingly. And it's leaving like a nice blotchy finish to where it's not just a solid purple, it's more um, natural looking, I think. I thinned it out with glass cleaner so it's kind of bubbly. I hope the camera can pick up the iridescent colors. But yeah, purple on the top, purple on the eyes, blue in the middle and then green on the bottom. I think I'm gonna come back in with a lighter transparent blue on the tail, the thin part here, and that'll set it apart from the blue on the body. I'm tempted to quit while I'm ahead. This is looking pretty good, but I think I'm gonna thin out some black and then come back into these lines on the body and kind of define those better and some lines on the head. Once I do that, I'll be done painting this dragonfly. That is the finished body of the dragonfly. It's ready for clear coat now. Pretty good colors, I'd say.
nice and iridescent and flashy. Won't know until we have it put together, but I'm thinking that's going to look really good with the wings. For the body of this dragonfly, I'm just going to do a two-part epoxy clear coat. And I'll do that off camera because I've done it a bunch in other videos. But for the wings, I'm actually going to spray a clear coat on them. So that'll be something new. So this is a KBS Diamond Clear Coat. And I'm going to thin it out a little bit with this stuff. I don't even know how to say it, but it works good as a thinner for the diamond clear coat stuff. I haven't opened this in a while. I'd suggest if you are going to spray this stuff, uh, it's good to have really good ventilation because it's quite potent. Really with any uh, clear coat that you're going to spray on a lure, you really need good ventilation and to uh, wear a mask because you can actually hurt yourself with this stuff. Wow, that made them look really nice. Nice and shiny, but you can still see the lines because I rubbed the black paint into those seams. Looks good. There we go. Also, I forgot to put my gloves on for that, so wear your gloves too. I'm going to get the body of this dragonfly clear coated, and then I'll be back tomorrow and put it all together. Probably fish that same day too, so almost done. There, everything is dried, the epoxy is set, the finish is cured, time to put this bait together. And that's just a matter of gluing it together. That's the rear wing. And there's both of them. The last thing to do with this bait, I just have to glue in its legs. And I'm going to use some uh, crystal flashy string, cut off the right lengths, drill some small holes, and glue it in. And there it is. The finished dragonfly lure. Gorgeous. Time to see if it will catch a fish. It's really hard to cast because the wings. It actually skips like that when you reel faster. That's good, but right? But I don't think any dragonfly is ever going to look like that <laughs> on the surface. Will it attract the fish? Yeah, it probably would. This bait is so difficult to cast though, because the wings catch so much air. And is sometimes it, it lands upside down like that, and you got to kind of finagle it to the top. Is it not good? At, no, that's kind of a good action. How much water it pushes, you know? Yeah. I think I had one little nibble just then. That should work though, right? Yeah, it should. Especially if I reel it faster. Mm. It kind of skips from wing to wing. Those colors are absolutely gorgeous. Like, wow. Got sunny.
You want to get out of here while we still got battery? Try yeah. somewhere else. I don't know. I suppose we could try the river. You think? Yeah. Like, I'm sure it, this bait would do the same thing in current. Yeah. There's a lot of bluegill over here. Yeah, but they don't care. <laughs> you sounded a little bitter when you said that. I am. These bluegill don't care at all. <gasps> oh! Oh. That's a... What'd you get? Kind of a big one. I think uh -oh, it's, it's just. It's got the blue on its face. I think it's a green sunfish. No, uh, the hook is kind of hard to get out. You want to hold him? He's very shaky. <laughs> Still. He didn't even. That hook wasn't even in him. He was just biting it. Really? Is it's he gonna bite me then? No. Oh. He's got little sandpaper teeth, so. He doesn't want me to thumb it. Ow, he bites! Does he? Yes! He's vicious. Oh my. That's a green sunfish, I'm pretty sure. Why'd he bite me? He didn't like you. <laughs> Ready? Okay, if they're in here, I should be able to catch something on this. We'll fish here a little bit longer. Okay. Okay, I say we stop at home, eat some lunch, go to the river. Agreed. Well, we gave the dragonfly a good chance today. Fished three spots with it. Didn't get anything. No bites, no nothing. But, seems like a good bait. Uh, it has some good topwater action, it seems, so it can catch fish. I, I have confidence in it. We'll fish with the dragonfly more in future videos. Give it more chances to catch fish. I'll tell you guys right now, next week's bait is gonna be something substantial something kind of crazy. I'm looking forward to that. Chelsea caught a fish and I guess that counts a little bit. What? I don't know. It's awkward because you caught a fish and I didn't? Yeah. I'm sure they'll understand. Per usual. On to the next bait. <laughs> 